All right, Kevin, I'm feeling a celebratory mood, kind of dressed for the occasion. Right. Because we're going to show you something really <laughs> awesome. And, and the reason why, everybody knows FX air guns. We innovate. We push the boundaries. Yes. It's not an air gun and it's a firearm. It's starting to, hey, this is a gun. Yes. In fact, I'll date stamp this, this, this name. We want to start calling them pneumatic rifles. All right. Because for the love good. of God, we are not... A BB gun. No. Not even a pellet gun. And no. if somebody calls it an airsoft gun, I will break you. <laughs> no, it's a pneumatic <laughs> rifle. It is a firearm in the sense that we're not using the fire. It's it's a gun, right? And, and people know that about FX air guns. But what if FX air guns wanted to innovate on things that outside of pneumatics? So we're going to be the best at yet one more thing? Exactly. This is the brand new FX True Ballistic Chronograph. Oh yeah. And that's what we're going over today on FX Outdoors. So you guys know FX has had a subsonic <clears throat> chronograph essentially, our, yes. our pocket radar for air guns, archery, things like that. But in, when we released that about two years ago, immediately I remember picking up the phone and say, can you guys build one for firearms? Because the chronograph is such an essential tool and it's not that there isn't other chronographs on the market. But it's about perfecting it. It's about, can it work all the time? Yes. Do I have to have an external battery pack? Do I have to have to stupid external trigger so it actually register it so I don't, I don't spend all this time on my $8 load and burn four or five shots before it even gets the reading. I mean, we could go on and on. So yes. this is what we got. This is the True Ballistics. It's a radar chronograph. That is an all-in-one unit. I mean, we spent... Last week, and we went out shooting. That's like the size of an iPad or smaller. Yeah, actually. yeah, that is awesome. Wait. So we just pull it apart like this. Yep. So would this work for like a regular tripod? You can put that in a tripod. Yeah, I'd see. And I'm put in a hog saddle if you want to, but you don't have to have a stand here. because oh, the, sh I the see. case. I see. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. Come so on. yeah, there it is. So what we got here? We'll hit the power button. All last week, we are in Colorado, 8,000 feet up to 10,000 feet, shooting a long distance. We're using a lot. Take us through, because I know you know this inside and out. Take yes, us through sir. the True Ballistic Chronograph. So first of all, the thing just worked. It didn't matter if it was 75 degrees and the sun shining or 40 degrees and it raining, whether we were in the valley on top of the mountain, whether we had it perfectly stable, it worked with me holding it. It worked with it set beside the shooter on a rock. I, we tried our best to find a scenario where it didn't work right. and we failed. The thing just worked. So how does it work? Because I see that there's no, again, there's no external trigger on this, yep. even if you're shooting silenced air guns. So, and that was kind of the big thing when we were shooting suppressed weapons, those are one of the harder things for the other available radars to find. Uh, it just finds the round as it's traveling through the air. So basically it sees something with a great velocity traveling and that's what triggers it. Right, so as long as you're shooting what, 400 feet per second? 400 feet per second and above, but realistically, you know, we'll let you guys get back to us because I've yet to see it fail. I've just not shot lower than 400 feet per second. So 400 feet per second, up to 4,000 is fat. I mean, right at 4,000, I don't have a gun that shoots 4,000 yeah, feet per second. Tested. We'll get back to you as far as I know there's the rounds out there. It'll go 43, 44. Absolutely. I think these are going to be the fastest bullets we have ever fired. This is such an important tool. Yes. If, if you guys, especially you guys that are reloading, let yes. alone that from a hunting standpoint, you're testing out rounds, you want to really understand what your round can do. And, and, and especially if you're going distance, right? Yes. Because we were doing long distance shooting out to, what, 1,400, I think a mile. Yeah, we eventually shot out a little over a mile. And what was cool, we were out there with a gentleman, uh, what's Josh's last name? Josh? Clough, C-L-U-F-F. Hey guys, Josh Clough with HS Precision. Impact! He was showing us how to use the Hornady Ford Off app. He's out there with HS Precisions with phenomenal rifles. Absolutely. Uh, we have this rifle amongst others. We're shooting seven PRC out at distance. And what was great about that, if you have the right data, you can Keyword. You, you can put that in your app and you can tell, you can dial exactly what it's gonna go. And we were hitting plates that were, you know, what, 10 inches by yep. 14. Deer target, but this section out of the deer is gonna be about an eight inch square, right? So that's gonna reflect the vitals. With that data, the only reason you missed it was because your wind call. 
Well, and, your and, elevation was spot on. Yes, and that is the single most important thing. What we found is the box is going to give you a general idea how fast that round's going, but there's so many different variables to include your uh, air pressure, elevation, all those things. You can have the greatest scope, like the the OS that we have here. You can have the greatest ballistics application like the Hornaday or the Kestrel. Or whatever. Absolutely, but all of those things are absolutely dependent on certain key points of data and the velocity is the single most important. And this particular item, we've trued it. So it's not that we were guessing whether the velocity was correct. We were backed up by first round hits at ridiculous ranges that if we went with the velocity on the box, we would not have hit. Right. Going with the velocity that was printed on here, we were able to dial in directly. So let's talk about that because you mentioned that. You're shooting this 7PRC, I yes, had sir. my 7PRC. My barrel is a little bit longer different yeah. than yours. So the resulting velocity was different and then yep. especially at distance, it like was what, a huge difference. Your dope was different than mine. Yes, by and so that idea of, 0.4 mils even. Yeah, so. like guaranteed miss. It's, yes. It's, what's, what's it worth for you to hit instead of miss? Yes. Especially like, uh, I was prepping for, I'm going back out there to do an elk hunt. Like the cost of missing if I have things wrong is an Thousands it's immense, of dollars, right? yes. So, so velocity is the first thing. You're gonna get an accurate yes, velocity sir. reading. And especially, let's say your guys are developing your loads. You, you, you know, you got five of this, five of that, five of that. When you go out there, when you shoot, you need that record. You don't, you don't want three in a row where, why isn't it getting the reading? That's very valuable, let alone, you know, I'm shooting seven PRC. PRC. Those rounds are seven bucks a round? At a minimum. And depending on which ones you get, they can be $16, $17. Right. right. They're crazy expensive. I wanna get my data. I don't wanna burn $10 a shot for something not acting. So get the velocity. Now let's talk about the ballistic side of this. Yes. So tell me how that works and how it records it. So it's very simple. You just program in the, the grain weight of your round right. and it's going to give you not a calculated ballistic coefficient, but it's gonna actually give you the legitimate ballistic coefficient. Where we found that to be greatly different was with the current industry leader would give one ballistic coefficient and then this would give something a little bit different, but where we put the money where our mouth is, is when we applied the ballistic data to the optic. Especially one was giving, distance. yes, one was producing a miss, the other was producing a hit. Right, it, and look, we're just telling it straight how it is. Yep. You have to get, the reason for that is how it calcul calculates the ballistic. It's not just velocity and backing into some numbers based on, uh, on data that's in there. It's getting a recording, it, now it defaults to getting a recording it at muzzle, 25, 50, yes, and 100. Now I can even change that, right? Yep. I can change that where I can do any increments out to, what is it, 300 you, you yards? You can go all the way out to 300. So why that's important is you can actually calculate a couple different things. Uh, in a hunting scenario, I'm gonna to wanna to know how much energy I'm putting on my target. And obviously nobody's going to be hunting at the muzzle of their gun, and that's gonna be where the published data is. So when I'm going into my ballistic, calculator on here, it's going to tell me at whatever distance I set, this is set for 25, 50, 75, and 100, but I can go all the way out to 300 yards just here, and with your phone, it can calculate out further with the app. But the point is you're going to know how much energy you're going to be putting on the target, which is going to help you be able to calculate what your ethical range for hunting yeah. with the rifle setup that you have. So we're getting true ballistics, this idea of recording at those multiple yes. distances, you're getting the actual data, you're gonna pick your uh, G1 or G7 based on your, your, on your bullet mm -hmm. shape, and you're getting the real ballistics. And, yes. and you gotta remember, I might, you know, I'm here in Wilmington, I'm getting data. When I was in Colorado, different conditions, that can be a diff different data, right? We were getting, so far as is when we were truing our rifles down in the valley, we were getting completely different dopes based off of where we are when we went on top of the mountain. So just those changes in pressure. Yeah, and then obviously in the app that accounts humidity of elevation, yep. but all these things, it's, it's all velocity, about- velocity though. It's yeah. all about, yeah, the velocity changes. You have to have accurate data based mm -hmm. for your conditions. Now that's cool, this is very light. You can throw this in your backpack, yep. in, your, in, your, in your range bag. I mean, you lived with it. Yes, you this thing's, it's incredibly tough. Uh, I mean, I, I 
was shooting off my pack. I didn't take any special right. considerations throwing my pack down. Guys, this thing is armored from every single right. angle. It's extremely robust. Um, I can break an anvil with a loaf of bread, according to my grandfather, and this thing lived through a four-day hunting proof. trip. Yes. Which, uh, let's not take that lightly. This is Kevin <laughs> Proof. And now there's some cool things with this. Yes. Uh, you, can, you can be a one-man band here. You can be out there That's shooting. The you can part. set it down. Uh, as far as placement, it's kind of either side of the gun. It could even be behind. Um, yeah, so... You, you were holding it behind Jim yeah. when he was shooting, no problems. Um, the other thing in this as well, like you guys know, compared to velocity chronographs, radar chronographs is getting that signal. And, and people know with radar, sometimes there's signal interference or mm -hmm. it's reflecting back. Yes. Well, what if your chronograph could tell you that there was a little bit of signal infer interference or that yeah. there was an obstruction? There's a setting in here where you, if you turn it on, which takes more battery, but I'm okay with that. Absolutely. It says basically, hey, little bit of signal interference maybe you want to move it to the other side or there's something yep. that's reflecting back so it, it'll let you know don't burn that round yet until you replace that now get out of my way exactly and with the cost of rounds more importantly the amount of time if you're hand loading it it's so much goes into making each round you want to get the best out of possible and knowing that this is going to capture that reading before you pull the trigger it makes it so much easier to be able to go out know i'm going to get the data that i'm looking for like you pointed out yep. it's so cool that i mean we typically we go out we're always either with each other or somebody else but a lot of us don't have the luxury of being able to have people to go out with us and we still need to get that data you're not going to need to set up a, a full scale you know production to be able right. to get it Very you simple. pop this dude out of your backpack it doesn't need to be perfectly level it doesn't need any special conditions it just needs to be within a relative range in a safe place which is very important you're never going to shoot this the worst case scenario you might knock it over but the point being possible. what's great about this is it's it's a tool it's a necessary tool to get the kind of accuracy and the results you want and it's portable and, yep. and efficient no no external battery packs this this ran all week and I think it was at 40% yep. by the time after five days of shooting and it was being run constantly. So And it's, it's smart, it knows when it's running too. So the big thing is, is if it senses that it's going for a few seconds, uh, I think you can even set it up to a few minutes where there is no data going into it. It'll turn push itself it off and then all you have to do is reach up, push the button, turn it back on. Now when we were using it, we were just using the screen, but this will also Bluetooth connect to the, the radar app. Absolutely. Much like the subsonic. So you can get your shot strings, you can do your other different data yep. profiles, things like that. Um, I, I gotta tell you, the reason I'm geeked out about it, long distance shooting is new to me. I've been in the air gun world. Um, going out and shooting to a mile, I've never done what we did last week. Hmm. Oh, you got him! Impa! Awesome. Wow. Nice shot, buddy! I don't think you could tell that I'd never done it. And that's partly because we had the right tools. We had the right gun, we had the right app, yeah. gave it the right data. And I was, we would go to different, it was like a, it was like an NRL hunter match kind of thing. You yes. go to different things, not knowing the things, you'd range it. And I was, I was hanging in there. I mean, I was. Hanging in there is an understatement, but we'll, we'll I think I had game. more points than you, yeah, you, but I mean, it, it, we were going against Oscar from GRS, who's a trained yeah. sniper. It's not fair. I'm not beating him, but that's I right. wasn't that far behind him. No. And that's cool because now it's approachable. I can go do long range shooting. And the, the tools are there. The apps are great. The, the, the Hornady Ford Off app, we can't say enough about that. That is fantastic. Good quality optic. Getting, you know, you have to make sure you get the measurement, all, all the things mm -hmm. for that app, but getting the right data. And what's great is if I was going to a match, we were talking about it before, different elevation, different conditions. You get your data, you plug it in. Yep you got success. And that's like the, the, the biggest thing that I want to get across is it doesn't matter how much you do your job. If you're using velocities that are labeled on that box, you can do your job all day, every day. Your best chance is a second or maybe third shot follow-up hit. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he went down to his knees swinging at that pit. Having something like this, the most important part of any data that you're going to get as far as ballistics are concerned is going to be your velocity. And we've seen just the same rifle shooting the same cartridge. The okay. only difference was four inches of barrel, and there were dramatic differences. So unless I couldn't give you my dope card and you had any it success would have never worked. after 400 yards. No, and so unless you were at the factory using your rifle when they presented that data, on the, data on the box to you and you were guaranteed to be in those exact conditions again, 
that's the only time that's valid data. So yep. if you're going to be doing any long range hunting, you're going to be doing a long range shooting. This is not something that you kind of should get. This is an absolute it's must essential. have. Absolutely. You know, what's cool about it is you get all the right data. And then when you're pulling the trigger, really you've reduced all the variables, the what ifs, right? Yep. Because in your head, you're like, was that me? Was that the gun? Was that the, the data? Now it's just about you. And, and really, you know, when we were shooting, it was focused on learning how the to wind. do your wind call. Yep, you wind. know, learning how to do the, the heat rays and figure out, yep. oh, what that means. That yep. Okay, now we're limiting the variables. You're set up for success. Okay, so let me show you the screen because you're going to get your shot. Oh, see? Turned off. Turned off. <laughs> we're not going to waste batteries. So we're going to turn it back on here. Uh, I want to show you a screen. Obviously, there's no data in the shot string here, but we can show you B-roll showing it. But basically, you can do these shots. It's going to show the string where it's going to show your shots, low, high, standard deviations, spread, and then it'll basically, it's going to be telling you your, your ballistic yeah. coefficient. And it's so. also going to show you where that round's starting to go subsonic, which is extremely important. It's going to yeah. tell you exactly at what range the round goes subsonic because that's where all that spooky stuff that you have to watch Matt, Matt, watch Matt Dubber's videos to figure out is. Yeah, I hate the spooky stuff. Yeah. All right, well, I mean, we've told you all about it. <laughs> let, let me break it down for you. No external trigger needed. No external battery pack. Don't need a tripod. It's all encompassing. Just works. And it's we, about the size of an iPad. We're getting actual BC because it's doing multiple distance. It's going to pick up the reading. Super lightweight. Throw it, you, you can carry this with you. What's the worth, Kevin, to not miss, right? I would waste one of my three wishes from a gym. <laughs> The fact that it just works, super lightweight, portable. These are available now, um, obviously, at all the air gun dealers who sell FX air guns, but we also have dealers like Optics Planet, Shields, other yep. people that are coming on board that are going to be carrying this. Uh, you're going to be able to find it. I, I have a feeling we're going to blow through the first ones that came through, but this is now in production. It's yes. going to constantly be there because, in, in my mind, and I think in yours, this is the new must have tool if you're serious about your shooting. It's a must. This is gonna change, revolutionize the way that you shoot. If you think you're a good shooter, but you're curious about, well, was it me, was it the gun, all this fun stuff, if you're using ballistics apps, this right here is going to change everything. It's going to change from having a second or third round hit to getting way more of those first round hits. And we've seen that with us. We're both really good shooters. This was a game yeah, that's changer That's very kind of you, that's very kind yes. of you. I'll pay you later. <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, that's it. I mean, we're taking over the chronograph world. Is What's next? Uh, that's it. FX Outdoors True Ballistics Chronograph available now. See you next week.